Hi folks, uh, this is part four of the UVM reporting in uh, message series. And the topic uh, we'll be covering today is verbosity. Um, let's just uh, jump right into it. Okay, so there are essentially six levels of UVM verbosity. UVM none, which is an enum, um, variable with a value or a level of zero. This is typically used um, or uh, is assigned to messages which contain a company header or uh, are some of the most important messages that you have to um, display um, for every test or in every log file, something along those lines. So this should be used very uh, sparingly because um, um, it, it's, it cannot be really turned off. Um, th this is typically used or uh, this verbosity is typically set when running a full scale regression as only the essential messages are printed in the log file. And, uh, and of course if you're running a regression you have multitudes of tests so you want to make sure you have enough space and this um, log files don't um, become too big, essentially. Uh, again, so UVM none um, essentially has the highest priority. That's one thing to remember. Next up is UVM low. This has a value or level of 100 and is used to print debug messages for a higher block level or assertion debug message. These are fairly important messages um, uh, that, I mean, a verification engineer has determined these are fairly important messages, essentially. And this can help in analyzing, um, like, like a quick sanity check for a passing test or to make sure certain test bench uh, functionality um, actually occurred in a given test. Next up is UVM medium. This is typically set as the default verbosity level. Uh, we can think of this as replacing the dollar display of Verilog um, or system Verilog in UVM and is used for normal, like, you know, a normal passing message or, you know, some other debug messages. UVM high and UVM full of with values of 304 and respectively can be used for early testing to make sure, you know, uh, test bench and its employment. So UVM high could be something even like a sequence item level details, for instance. Uh, we could put that over there. And full could be used for all kinds of initial test bench related debug. Uh, just to make sure that the test bench environment are behaving as expected. And like when we have recently um, written up some tests and created the test bench. UVM debug, on the other hand, has the lowest priority as uh, its level is 500. And um, this is this is for highly detailed debug. So um, this can be used as often because this won't be printed unless you specifically want everything to be printed. That's only when you would sort of like uh, wanna um, wanna set the verbosity level for your test bench to be UVM debug. But you could have a lot more messages um, th that you would need to debug, like you know, small things or very detailed debug. You can set uh, set the verbosity of those particular UVM infos to be UVM debug. Like we discussed, the priority is the highest for the UVM none and reduces as we go along. And UVM debug has the lowest priority. If, for instance, the test bench UVM verbosity level is set to be UVM medium, then what that means is all the UVM info messages that have a verbosity of UVM none, low and medium, uh, will get printed out if the test bench verbosity 
is set to UVM medium. So next up is usage. So what is the usage of uh, UVM verbosity? So what are uh, how can you set these verbosity levels from command line? So um, the first one is the default. So typically, um, if it's um, standalone test, um, like you know running one test at a time. Um, you can run where the verbosity level or the default verbosity level, you can set that to UV medium typically. Whereas for um, a regression, you can set that to UV none. But if there's ever a need to change the verbosity level, uh, we can use this uh, run command argument, uh, which is uh, plus UV verbosity, and then you can set it as UV none, low, medium, high whatever you want that to be, so that the test bench verbosity at that particular run is going to be whatever you send from the command line. Uh, you could also uh, use uh, this particular com um, command line argument, uh, or run command argument, which is UVM set verbosity, with its uh, four arguments, component, ID, uh, verbosity, and phase, um so what what this can do is it can change the verbosity for a particular um, component and this can be done through the command line the next step is to set the verbosity of a given component after a particular time uh, we can use this particular command so um th this particular command ha now can have a component id verbosity and the time. Um, so after this particular time, the verbosity is going to change to maybe you want to change it to high, low, however you want to set it. So uh, that's what that is used for. Major takeaway from this discussion is to always use even info in UVM test bench as you would have a lot of control. And that's the beauty of um, the UVM verbosity mechanism. And uh, the other thing is not to use dollar displays. Stop using it in UVM. Um, as dollar displays are notoriously harder to debug uh, since they, you know, since they are encapsulated within tick if defs, right? Um, they require recompile to turn on or off. Um, Alrighty, that's it. See you next time.